before i go ahead to demonstrate this in excel i just thought to show some scripts some writing out exactly what i did each jpeg file every picture you see is made up of pixels and each pixel has um one color one color essentially so you can see a picture that has multiple colors but when you distill that picture into its individual pixels each pixel has one color that can be represented by a an RGB code or a hex code or some other color coding information um, system. And then the color coding information system I chose to use for this example was the hex code. So essentially, what I did was to convert the JPEG into a CSV file where each cell contains the hex color of the representing picture pixel. And then I adjusted the column width. And after, so the output of the Python script was, what the Python script did was he requested for a picture from me. And then using a, he opened up a dialog box asking me for a picture. And then I, I directed, um, I, I selected the picture I wanted to convert. And then it took that picture and broke it down into individual pixels. And then it extracted the color information in each pixel. And then it exported all that information into a CSV file. So the, JPEG, the Python script takes in a JPEG as the input and it, and it brings out a CSV file as the output. And the CSV file represents the JPEG, but as a um, range of, of um, data cells containing each containing hex codes of the pixels in the JPEG. And then the next thing I did was to adjust the column width of the cells in the CSV so that the cells are squares and not rectangles. So I set up, I just dragged around the column width to make sure that the column width was equal to the row height. That way the cells in the Excel sheets were set up as squares and not rectangles because the squares look closer to pixels in the JPEG file in the picture. Then the third thing was while still on the opened up CSV, I noted the total number of rows and total number of columns in the CSV. And that information is important for the next step. And then finally, I converted each cell's interior color to the hex color based on the cell text inside the cell. And to do that, I did, I used a VBA script. So this is a Python code that converted the JPEG pixels to CSV. I'll try and break down what's happening in each section of the, of the Python script. The first section is essentially importing the libraries that are going to be used. You want an easy GUI li library and that library enables you, um, allows you to interact with the Python script using a dialog box, a typical Windows dialog box. And that dialog box was what I used, was what um, the Python script used to help me navigate to where the image I want to convert was um, stored and to select it for use in this processing. Also imported the CSV library, which um, enables the conversion to CSV. The next um, part was to open up, and then the next part of the code is basically the easy, easy GUI doing its thing, and it opens a live dialog box so we can select the JPEG to be converted. The next part is to put the image on a frame to map out the pixels, essentially just doing its thing. For each pixel in the JPEG, get out the color information as RGB and then convert it to a hex file. And then write out all the information, the hex information by pixel into a CSV file. The VBA code essentially sets up three variables, two um, numbers and one string. And then the two numbers are going to store the, the length of rows, length of columns, which is going to essentially tell Excel the range of the picture that you want to um, do the conversion on. So it says it's going to tell, tell Excel that if the, if the Excel, if the CSV file ended up with 168 columns and 160 rows, it's telling Excel that you're going to run this conversion of the hex string to cell color for all 168 rows and all 160 columns. And the next is really a four next loop, and it's the four next loop um, takes each cell within that range of 168 rows and 160 columns, 168 columns and 160 rows, and it says for each of those cells, that's um, row one, column one, row two, column one, row three, column one, all the way to row 160, column one, and then you do the same thing until you get to row 160, column 168, and then for each of these cells, take whatever text is inside that cell. And remember that the text that is in the cell is the hex code, which was converted by the Python script. Take that hex code and then convert that hex code into the color information that Excel can read, which is the interior.color format. And just recolor um, that cell based on that interior color information. And once the four next loops finish running, you can end the code. But that's it about the explanation. And let's just get right into how this works. I am going to show you the folder in which I'm working in. I have in here my Python script as a notepad file, and I'm just going to open it up in notepad so that you can see. Open with notepad. Open it in notepad so you can see this is essentially what we just walked through in the PowerPoint. And this code this Python script has been com compiled into an e exe. So when I'm running the operation, all I have to do is to double click the exe and it's going to run. This is the picture I want to convert for this demonstration and it's my passport photograph. And what's advisable for this demonstration is to keep the file size under 10 kilobytes. If it's more than 10 kilobytes, this operation takes a long time to process. In fact, preferably it's five kilobytes, but I, this was as good as I was able to shrink this picture. 
these are the two main files for this operation and then i'm going to i have my hex code somewhere in a notepad for the operation so uh, i'm just going to go over and run the python script which is already in this compiled exe so i just double click it it opens up this window that looks like a terminal window and it's going to it's it's brought up this called open and it's essentially asking me for the picture i want to process so i'm going to select the picture and just click open and then it's going to for a while it took a short while to process so this is the um, this is the picture i should, really should have deleted this it confused me for a moment so it took a short while to process but i'll show you if i had selected a larger picture this would have taken i think this processed under three seconds but if i had taken if i'd used a larger picture it would have taken a longer time to process the thing about the excel file is that um, the csv file it saves with the name of the original picture so we're just going to go over here and open it up open up this in excel the csv that has exported in excel so this is what it looks like when it's exported and i'm just going to zoom in a bit it's a lot of cells it's a lot of cells and i would um let's jump to the last column by using control left it runs all the all the way to column kb and remember i said that i was going to note the last column and the last row so the last column is kb but I actually need it as a number and to do that i'm just going to use the columns function to tell, translate what kb means in in numbers so in kb a to kb is 288 columns so it means that um, there are 288 columns in this operation and I want to know the last row. Last row is 349. So I'm just going to note that down somewhere so I don't forget. Rows 349 columns 288 and then the other thing I said I was going to do when I get here, when I open the file is to resize this cell so that the row height is equal to the column width. So currently the column width is 64 while the row height is about 19 or 20. So I'm just going to select the rows and make them 15, 15 pixels. Uh, this gets fidgety and what I'm going to do if it's not, um, I can just set the row height from here. So setting it 15, I'm going to, so I'm just going to drag it so that it, it is a pixel. This looks like a box, I fixed, fit this to 20 pixels so now we're good to go and then the final thing we're going to do here is trying to resize this as much as possible to get um as many rows as as many of the, the cells into the view and as you resize it you can't see the um content of the cells anymore which is okay anyway because it really doesn't matter to, for what we're going to do and then the next step is to bring in the vba code and i do that by going to the visual basic editor new line of code excuse what was on there inserting a new module and then going over to this VBA code and paste it here. So this VBA code, all I need to do here is update the rows and columns to match this. So 349 for I, which is rows, and 288 for J, which is columns. That's all I need to do. In um, That's on, the only update I need to make to the scripts to ensure that this VBA script, in the VBA script, the end range for I and J match the total rows and total columns in the actual picture I imported. And now that it's set up, all I need to do is to go to developer and run the code. Um, I clicked the wrong thing. Go to developer, go to macros and run the code. So the picture generates the end time. yes it's done i want to see if i can zoom it yes final zoom i'm able to get the entire picture in frame so that's the tutorial and that's how i was able to transform a picture into an excel convert an image into a csv file essentially so yeah thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe